Second Blaster is a shovelware title produced for the Nintendo Wii. Now this game has some decent points as well as some awkward points. For example, the controls. Now I'm going to point this off right off the bat before I even go into the review. Be advised when you first start the game, you would have to use the B button which is located on the Wiimote below it. And you know, this is on the whole, if you've got the big boxed version of this game with the uh, orange controller, be advised, you're going to feel pretty awkward at first trying to handle this damn game. Now of course they give you this accessory that looks cool. You, you get excited to think you're going to be using a shotgun, then when you actually go to pull the damn shotgun back and try to fire with the Z button, you're going to be left uh, hung and dry. But with that said, you know, I got past that little awkward stance of weird controls for a accessory that came with the game. Then I set up getting into the game, I kind of ignored that aspect and had some fun. Now this game does offer some decent points. Now if you own a Nintendo Wii, you have kids who like these type of games anyway, but you're kind of on the fence about getting this game, I'd recommend only finding it if it's like super freaking cheap. And by super freaking cheap, I mean at least five bucks. Now the game itself, with the bundle, if you find it for twenty bucks, you have the extra cash. You don't mind spending that kind of cash? Go for it. You know, it's your money, whatever. But at the same time, if you find this game solely by itself for five dollars somewhere, I would recommend grabbing it if your kids like this type of stuff. I like this kind of stuff, and you know, I'm very picky with these type of shooter games. Now, there's over eight levels spanned across this title. There's all kinds of themes and every little setting for this game to, of course, fill in the uh, cl cl that of there is of a arcade style rail shooter. Now every other level there's a boss and of course different challenge modes such as survival and quest which a mirage of uh, for example in the survival mode a mirage of chickens and eggs getting tossed at you all at once will come up on the screen you just survive and leave a high score. Pretty challenging I think would be entertaining to try to challenge other people around you around your house or well as friends if they're into that type of thing and see who can get the highest score to win the last beer but of course and I doubt people or any frat people will be wanting to do something like that versus playing Call of Duty so avoid what I just said in closing is this game worth the purchase definitely worth the purchase if you pay a reasonable price for this game while the controls are awkward they're responsive and I actually found myself shooting chickens with ease so again I thought this was a pretty humble if not cool present from my brother I am into rail shooters he knew it and he purchased this game for me so a big thank you to him for purchasing this game for me for an early Christmas gift and as always guys check out more videos soon so take care